it going? Uh, today I'm going to give a little brief rundown on some basics to Photoshop, hopefully in an efficient manner that we'll kind of learn some basics in Photoshop, which can get pretty complicated, but you have to start somewhere. So yeah, the key thing to understand about Photoshop is that it is a layer-based program. That is basically the foundation of everything you do in Photoshop. Um, so what does that mean? It's basically you have multiple layers over here and you can press this button to create a new layer. And with different layers, um, what you put on each thing stacks up over the other layer. So a good example of this would be looking at um, two different colors. So on this first layer, I'll just put a big green brush and then I make a new layer that is above it. I switch the color and then I put another a gray and see the gray goes over the green here because um, the layer is above uh, the green layer, but when I put it below it, you see how the green goes over it. And that basic can be used, um, that's the key for when you have working with a bunch of different layers, understanding which one goes above the other, um, that's very important. So where to start in Photoshop? I mean, there's a lot of different stuff. I mean, there's a lot of different buttons that can seem really intimidating. Um, I think one of the best places to learn and start from is actually with the text. Um, there's a lot that's kind of a foundation that's used in almost you know a lot of graphic design things you want so you grab the text tool uh, you put it in here and then you can type whatever you want so I'll just do S Gildan um, and you can play around with it you have uh, if you click over here in this window you get your different text tools and you can play around a lot with it so you have your different fonts um, and the, you can the best thing to do, honestly, is to play around with it and you kind of learn uh, what tools you like to use. So I have, a, you know, I, I could look down this list and there are some things in here that I almost like never, I've like never used this tool over here. So there's a lot and there's a lot you can do with just a, you know, a fraction of the stuff in Photoshop. So go in here, you got different like formatting stuff. Um, and this is a lot of good stuff that you can play around with and really understand Photoshop from here. Um, so another fun, another good thing that uh, you can really play around with to get going on uh, gain some creative aspect in Photoshop. So when you double click the text tool um, or the window, it will come up with this layer style window. And this a lot you can do with. So all kind of effects that go onto different texts come here. So if you wanted to put uh, a gradient overlay, you see how it changes there. Um, if you want a drop shadow, that's a common one people use. And within each one, you can change different settings. See, that's how I get a drop shadow here. You can move it further down. You, know, you can line it up, you can make it bigger. Possibilities are endless. So that's a great thing to really play around with. This is probably one of the most used things in Photoshop I'll always use. It's the transform tool. And it's actually so common that I honestly forget how, where to go to it, like in the windows outside of the shortcut, because you should just know the shortcut. It's definitely somewhere up here. Yeah, it's in edit, <laughs> it's in edit, transform. But basically, press uh, Control T or uh, Command T uh, for Mac, and this window comes up. And from here, you can warp the image however you want. You can make it bigger. Um, so some key things to understand is if you press on the shift button, this is important, um, it keeps the uh, ratio the same. So say you're working with the image, you don't want the image to kind of get distorted at all, you press the shift button and it keeps it the same size. Um, otherwise, you can just pull it regularly and it'll distort it. Um, there's a lot of other things that you can do to play around just from here, but, um, that's the kind of the basics and that's just really important to be able to, it's also an easy way to move your image. Um, technically you could use uh, the, uh, is this technically called? Yeah, it's called the move tool. So you grab it, but I honestly find it way easier to just um, press command T and it's way easier to move it from here. Another important thing is that uh, whenever you transform anything, you always have to confirm it. So you see how you have the deny button, check button here. So if I deny it, see how it goes back to where it is. Um, but if I press check um, or enter, that's what I always do, it keeps it. Um, another thing going back to the layer um, aspect, uh, just understanding which layer is where. Um, 
I just put SG there. Let's just make it a red so you can distinguish it a little bit more. Oops, gotta highlight it. Red. And um, key thing is, if you're trying to distort, for example, uh, trying to uh, transform the S Gildan, for example, make sure you click on that layer first. So you see how I transform that. And now if I click on the SG layer, it transforms that. And that's important because otherwise the program doesn't know how to distinguish the difference. Um, if you go back to the move tool, you can, it'll also select it too. So, but the layer window is important because that's the way, and staying organized in that so you can clearly tell which layer is which. Uh, other important things you have uh, for navigating Photoshop, you have the zoom tool, which is, shortcut is just Z. I use that all the time. So some of these shortcuts are like just key for just workflow. Um, so you have Z for zoom, that's easy to remember. And this allows you to zoom in on certain things, zoom out, um, self-explanatory. Um, and with this, you also have the hand tool, which allows you to move around within that zoom. That's also very helpful. Um, so you can get to different parts other than just using these scroll bars over here. Um, other thing that's useful, is that if you double click the hand button, it brings it back to just uh, full screen or 100% in your window. And another useful thing to know is your edit history. So all the edits in Photoshop, which is something that's important to know, are rather permanent for the most part. So um, as opposed to something like Lightroom, um, that's the key thing that kind of makes them different, is that Lightroom, the adjustments, you can kind of go back, um, but this is only adjustments by each kind of move. So in order to go back, if you want to go back a lot, you can click this window here. This gives you your edit history so you can kind of see your different moves. So if I want to go back to the brush tool, see I'm all the way back at the brushes. Um, but I don't want to go that far back. Um, other just kind of standard, just obviously control Z, command Z. Those are pretty basics between any computer thing. Um, that will always go back, including layer visibility, um, which is also a useful thing to know. Just click this eye, makes it um, not visible, visible, yeah. So, um, and going back, uh, going forward, you can just do Command Shift Z. So yeah, that's a pretty uh, basic intro to Photoshop. That are kind of the key concepts that allows you to just be able to work around, understand what's going on in the program. Um, I plan to do some more. From here, it gets pretty like, each section is a bit more specific. Um, even though there's basics within those, it's hard to give it in one general uh, video. So I'm gonna section those off so that it's a little bit easier to follow. But uh, yeah, I'll make a few more of these. I'll also be doing some Lightroom stuff um, as time goes by. So if this stuff is helpful, uh, let me know in the comments down below and I'll definitely be sure to make some more tutorials on this stuff. Uh, there's obviously a lot of stuff you can do in Photoshop. Here's some of my favorite images that I've Photoshopped personally. Uh, it can get a lot of work. It can get a lot of creativity though. So some cool results. So yeah, uh, thanks for sticking with me and uh, take care. And uh, I'll see you next time.